yesterday. We just got back from Aldi a little while ago, had lunch, got all that stuff cleaned up, and now we're about to try out the new gadget that we got. The vacuum, what's it called? Vacuum food sealer. So here it is. I popped it apart. You did? It's okay, we're fixing to open it anyway. No. Like zero star. Mm-hmm. Can I help you with the little egg? Yeah, can you put this in that a little? <laughs> it's not a piano, it's a food sealer. Oh. It's a vacuum food sealer. Is it the instructions? Yeah, I got the instructions over here. We open this up, check the seals for correct fit. Oh, Everything don't looks plug good. It. We gotta figure out what we wanna vacuum seal first. Well, what do we just wanna test it out with? I need to separate that big pack of ground beef that I got, so we're gonna try that. We're gonna put it into, these little bags came with the machine, but I think they're gonna be too small. small. How'd you know I was gonna say small? Oh, here's some bigger ones. Okay, we'll use these two. So these are already sealed on one end. This does have a little thing where if you're if you're using this roll that's not sealed, it has a little thing that you can stick it in here and cut it where you need to cut it. We'll give that a try real quick and see how it works. Easier here. Oh, there we go. Now you put it back down. There we go. And you cut it. Uh oh, it's like that. Oh, and you gotta slide this back over. Then lift it back up. Boom. Let me press stop. Okay, it says to press this down until both sides audibly lock. There we go. Okay, now we are locked in now. Let's see if it works this time. Now we have some vacuuming going on. Okay. I feel like this pack that I bought separately is a little bit of a better quality than the one that came with it. So we're gonna use this one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and seal this bottom end. Just sealing here. When it blinks three times, that means it's sealed and ready. That was great. So after it vacuums it, then it seals it, and then you unlock right here, and boom, you're done. I did this extra long on purpose just so when it started vacuuming it didn't suck those juices up into the machine. So there we go. Two packs of ground beef. I used to put these in freezer bags and stick them in the freezer and I would just press out as much of the air as possible. I'm gonna be vacuum sealing everything. Who wants something vacuum sealed? Tomorrow I'm gonna thoroughly clean out my refrigerators and see what all I can vacuum seal. <laughs> Plus, I also got that fridge organizer that I want to use. I only got one of them because I'm hoping that next week, if they don't sell them, they'll mark them down to an even cheaper price. You ready to go outside, Mr. Man? Yeah. You need some help? Yeah. Where are you going to ride it? Over here? Right hey, Georgette. Right here. Oh, on the other side? Oh, they think we're bringing them their feed right now. Woohoo! Look at him go. I need some help. You need some help here? Okay, you hold on and I'll pull. How about that? Can you hold on? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, this is an arm workout. This is an arm workout. Okay, let's park right here and get them some feed. We got four today. Uh-oh, they cracked one of them. Me and Manly came back inside. I'm gonna go ahead and start this chicken noodle soup in the Instant Pot. I was gonna do it in the slow cooker. You can do it anyway, slow cooker, stove top, Instant Pot. I've never made it in the Instant Pot before, so I decided to try this this time. So I've got it on saute. I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of oil in here. Let that be heating up, and we're gonna chop up a carrot, I mean, not a carrot, <laughs> an onion. 
some carrots, and some garlic. Yeah, it warmed back up for us today, and it was really pretty. I think it got in like the lower 60s, but rain is coming again, I think. I'm not sure when. I just heard Titus talking about it. He's always paying attention to the weather because, you know, he needs to for work. Some of the farms don't have uh, barns and stuff, so he has to sort of schedule his week around the weather. So if it's a rainy day, he can schedule the ones that do have barns because they can bring them in and he can shoe them in the barns. Okay, we'll do the onion and carrots first, then we'll put in the garlic. Manly's in there laughing about something. <laughs> oh, Jonah's being funny. Jonah's looking at him through the window. They're still, Jonah and Cece are still out there playing on the porch. Onions in. Okay, so for chicken and dumplings and chicken pot pies, I normally just cut these carrots in half, but for the soup, I'm gonna cut them a little smaller. I really wanted to make the beef and noodles tonight, y'all, but I had this other pack of chicken in there that either needed to go in the freezer or be cooked, so I decided to go ahead and cook it. Let me see how many carrots. I think I'm only gonna use this bag. I don't, I don't think I'll have to use that other bag right now because we're also gonna put some celery. I can't remember if I said that or not. chicken broth. It is 32 ounces. There we go. Now I'm also going to put in 32 ounces of water. There's the water. I'm going to sprinkle in just a little bit of ground thyme. I'm just shaking it in here. It's going to be about half a teaspoon. And I'm going to put just a few parsley flakes. Now some salt and pepper. Okay, and now we just put in the chicken. We don't have to cut it or anything first because after it cooks in here, then we're gonna take it out and shred it and add it back in. Now, I am putting a little more chicken than the recipe called for, but I'm thinking I'm gonna add some cream in. We like a creamy chicken noodle soup, so I think I'm gonna add a little heavy cream in after the chicken cooks and all. All right, so now we're just gonna cover it, seal it, and cook it on high pressure for 10 minutes. So when the cook time is done, I'm gonna let it slow release for about five to six minutes. Then we'll release the rest of the pressure. Take out the chicken, and when we take the chicken out, I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles in and turn it to saute and let them start cooking while we shred the chicken. Then we'll add the chicken back in, and when the noodles are done, it's ready. We still have some of this sourdough bread left. I'm just gonna chop it into cubes and then stick it in the oven under the broiler to toast it, and we're just gonna eat this with the soup, kinda like croutons. y'all the kitchen is clean here's what's left of the soup it is so good and these little oven baked croutons were great I didn't think they would be as good usually when I make croutons I fry them you know I didn't know if they would get crunchy enough but I sprayed them you know with a little bit of olive oil and then I just put that garlic and herb seasoning on them and they were wonderful now it's time to get ready for bed the world is full of mountains very many of these mountains have lots and lots of trees this story takes place on a mountain full of trees that happen to be pine trees, the type of trees often used at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 